It is Saturday. You know what that means. I've got another Amazon custom return electronics. This was just a huge mystery box. About a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now, I posted a video on my YouTube channel about a company that I got two boxes from. One was like a general goods and one was electronics. So I had to dig around my storage unit because I got these like back in July and I found the electronics. So we're doing that one today, but I think maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, you saw the one that was like general goods and it was a fantastic box. So the price of this was $225 and the company where these came from, um, their website is no longer active. I don't know if it's coming back. I've heard some people figured out where this came from because I guess of the size of box or something. People, a couple people were able to figure out where this originally came from back in July. And I was told that their website's coming back soon. I don't even know. But if you saw my original video, the value inside of it, it was over a thousand dollars. Five times, almost five times the money back. It was insane value. I don't know if all boxes are like that. We're gonna find out though. I also have this one. This one is supposed to be electronics. That was also, I think it was 225. Like I said, I've had this thing since July. So we're talking over three months now I've had this box. Um, so I'm thinking it was 225. But before I start this video, I went to the website again. It's under maintenance, so well, I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know if this company is legit or not. I don't know if it's like a, I just got a lucky box last time. I don't know. So some people asked me if I would name drop where that box came from. And uh, <laughs> I cannot advertise for any company, especially when I don't know anything about them. Cause I always want to be a customer first for a while before I ever like put my stamp of approval on a company. Let's see, electronics. Okay, see the top of this thing? It is electronics. Let me see if I can tip this thing down a little bit so you guys can see it. I open it up, I think you guys can see it. I open it up and that's what I saw, all electronics. Let me put this thing down to the side. I can take a little bit easier that, that way. Um, but I will pull this out right on top. I know uh, Nintendo has sued a lot of companies for making these because this is a trademark infringement. It goes against Nintendo's um, IP that they have. Um, yes, it doesn't say Nintendo on it, but all the games on this thing are copyrighted trademark by Nintendo and uh, so a lot of companies that sell kind of like this knockoff version of the little NES classic they've been shut down some some companies got sued by Nintendo but yeah something like this I could not sell this on eBay because technically I, I don't want to be sued by Nintendo I don't want to be sued by Nintendo so that's the first item I pretty much say not worth anything let's see this is factory sealed we have an Aki 1080p webcam. There's no barcode on it, but it is still factory sealed though. The model number is, I don't know, oh, PC-LM3 is the model number. Webcams, 1080p, like 25, 30 bucks, I bet. But it is still factory sealed, so that's kind of nice. Then there's also a Microsoft Office Home and Student 2016 factory sealed software. I haven't owned a, uh, a PC 15 years. I've been pure either MacBook Pro or iMac. Yes, I'm an Apple fanboy. I've owned pure Apple products for like a, probably like at least past 15 years, maybe longer now. So I don't even know can you use old PC software? Like, I'm sure you can, but anyway, uh, Home and Office 2016? Maybe during the editing this video, I'll throw some prices in or something. Once I do some research, kind of trying to figure out maybe what some of the stuff might be worth. Let's see. We have a TC-777 USB condenser microphone. The brand is Toner, T-O-N-O-R. 
it is opened up so it's not like factory sealed looks like it's all in there kind of like a podcast microphone probably like 25 to 20 25 bucks again okay keep digging we have a outdoor wi-fi security camera net view is the company I know my wife and I were actually looking to maybe put a camera outside the house. Maybe we can use that for outside the house. So it looks like it's it's all in there. It's not like totally factory packaged, but it doesn't look like it's been installed or anything. Uh, a security Wi-Fi camera. Maybe another 25, 30 bucks. NetView Vigil is what it's called. Okay. Not miss. This is decent stuff so far. It has Microsoft Corporation on it. It says Microsoft OEM software, something professional, 64-bit. And I dropped it. So it's like some kind of software. It's still factory sealed. I don't know. I have to research that. Let's see. What might I actually know when I pull it out? We have an Echo Show adjustable stand. This does have a barcode on it. Let me actually scan it. Since this is sold by Amazon, I can quickly look up on Amazon, see how much this thing might sell for. On Amazon, this thing sells for $9.99. So I'll be selling on eBay, probably like five bucks or so. Not super expensive. We I think it's kind of heavy. Oh, there we there we go. There's some nice. We have a Nighthawk AC1900 smart Wi-Fi router. That's not bad. That's probably 75, 80 bucks at least. We've had these before, a lot in pallets. They sell pretty quickly. Still all factory packaged up. This might actually be a pretty good one. Let me look this one up. I'll look on eBay. So on eBay, open box item, I'm seeing like 45 to 50 bucks for open box not really been used just open box item 45 50 bucks That's not bad right there as high as 50 bucks. It's not bad Let's See what else we got. We have a portable wireless speaker. The brand is BBD Blue beat digital a little wireless speaker Probably good at least 15 bucks. I bet See, Pure Wings, a high speed fan for your PC. Not very expensive. What's this? I guess it's a fan for your PC again. I have some of the stuff I've never seen before. So it looks like open package item for this 20 bucks maybe. Maybe as high as 25-ish. I want to say 20, about 20 bucks. Okay, now, oh, here we go. We have a PS5 controller. It's too bad there's not a PS5 in this box. That'd been freaking killer, but yeah, you're not gonna get like, like a custom made, like a Amazon customer turn mystery box. You're not gonna get a PlayStation 5 out of something like that. Or to get a PlayStation 5, you actually have to get it from straight, like a like a liquidation pallet. How is this thing taped shut? I've cut the tape multiple times. There we go. That was user error right there. There it is. PS5 controller. It's all there. It's actually the first PS5 controller I've gotten in a liquidation, um, either a pallet or like a mystery box. First one, but used, I bet you it's at least 30. Has to be made like 40. Let me see actually. Looks like used, about 30 bucks used, about 30. So used for like the PS4 to PS5, the used prices don't really change much. Let's see, we have a jelly comb, single ear traffic headset. Yeah, headset thing, make phone calls, stick it in your ear, find our 15, 20 bucks. But, oh, we've got some Samsung Buds Plus. I've never seen these before. One of these have any value to them. 
So looking on eBay, open box item. When I was looking at prices, I actually pulled them out, looked at them. They're, they're very clean. They're not dirty at all. So they were used. They were used probably like one time maybe, but there's no usage marks on it. But open box item with the charging, the, 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 or not charging, but like the case, both earbuds, open box is between 50 and 60 bucks. So that's not bad. 50, 60 bucks for some, uh, what are they called? Buds. Samsung Buds. Uh, Razer Syrian Mini Condenser Microphone. That's a good brand. Razer. Lots of Razer stuff can go for some pretty decent money sometimes. And look at on eBay for the actual, like a pink microphone. The Razer, the pink one. It is all in there. It's a uh, like used condition or open box item, lightly used. It's like 25 bucks. So I mean, it's not bad. This whole box was only 225. So I mean, so far it's actually pretty good, pretty good value so far. We have a Mophie juice pack for a Samsung Galaxy S10. I don't even know what uh, Samsung Galaxy is the newest one. I have no clue. But uh, that's probably at least 20 bucks right there. And then we have a portable charger, pocket juice, portable charger. I know I've sold over the last several years, I've probably sold a hundred different kind of portable chargers and stuff. You can usually gauge at least 20 bucks for a decent one. Let's see, we have a Voger IP camera. Looks like another like indoor camera. Two-way audio, night vision, motion detection, listen and talk with your loved ones, clear video quality day and night, adjustable sensibility and schedule alerts. Wow, that's got some high tech stuff to it. It's in there. On eBay, about 20 bucks. About 20 bucks in that, in that range. Next we have a Samsung Wireless Charger Trio. That's pretty nice. Name brand item. Is that still factory? Oh, no, it, it's been opened. Okay, so it is not factory sealed. It's been opened. I don't see a barcode, but I'm kind of curious about price this. I'm sure you are too at, at, at home right now. So looking on eBay, open box item. Here's a 31, 42. Most of them are brand new. New sells for about 50-ish in that range. Open box. I'm gonna say about open box by about 30 bucks. About 30. That seems like a pretty, pretty fair price. Let's see, we have a battery charger and three channel intelligent charging hub for a DJI Mavic. It might have some pretty decent value to it. Probably not super expensive though. Probably another like $20 item. This box actually does have quite a few, just like $20 items in this box. Like quite a few. Here's an iPad smart folio. Looks like it has not been used. Not dirty or anything. I'm seeing open box item. It's like a $25, $50. We'll like cut it down the middle. We'll do like what? $35. I think it's pretty. Pretty fair price. Oh, what's this? We have a Dell logo. Laptop? No. <laughs> no. I'm about to say, what is this thing? What is it is a Dell dock. This might have some good value to it. Looks like you can use this thing kind of like daisy chain your computers together. Okay, so here is the Dell WD-19 laptop docking station used 201, 199, 150, 177, 169, 174, 160, 150, 175, 195, 180, between like 150 to 200. Go down the middle at 175. It's got the, like the, the docking port, whatever it's called, plus the cord. Wow, okay, this, <laughs> wow. Look at this thing's probably close to about 175. That's craziness. So this box honestly is just as good as my first one that I got, the home good one. I think like, that one was worth over a thousand dollars resale value. This one, I don't honestly know this point what it's even gonna be worth, but I mean, two three i bet right here there's at least probably 500 bucks just right there at least at least 500 bucks i'm guessing 
a wired controller for the Xbox. It is a wired controller. It's kind of like an off-brand Power A. Good 20 bucks for that item. We've got a few things left. Defender case for a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. A case, it's all there. Got the clip and everything. 15, 20 bucks, I bet, for that. We have, ooh. We have a Steel Series headset. What system? Oh, PS4 and PC, it says. Oh, and it is in there. These are not cheap. I've sold these before. I think these are over a hundred bucks. You have the controller part, the headset. There's no hair on them. There's no dead skin. Ooh. Let's see how much these cost. So I'm looking on eBay in like used condition, even though it looks like it's like new condition with the box, with the also that little, uh, what's it, the other piece, whatever the other piece is called, the headset and the uh, whatever it is, I'm drawing a blank. Like 132, 135, 170. Looks like there are a lot of different variations of this headset, but I think the one that, that this one is looks like at least 125 in open box used lightly used condition then i'm seeing as high as like 170. so i'm just gonna go with the lower number of 125. we got two things left or no we got three things left three things left we have an arc touch mouse for the microsoft flattens for portability this box is actually full of really good stuff again like once again this uh, Amazon Christ Return mystery box was a freaking home run. Okay, this this one is used. You got quite a bit of usage marks on it. So this one's not, not very expensive. Not very expensive. Two things left. We've got a Boss Audio Systems 225 watt peak power full range speakers. Some Boss speakers. Looks like these sell new for, and yeah, not very expensive. They're like 20 bucks. About 20 bucks. Last item in this box. We have a Turtle Beach Recon 70. Works with the new Xbox. This is the wired gaming headset. This is like the cheapest version of the Turtle Beach. It's not very expensive. But this is for the newest Xbox. And it sells new on Amazon for 40 bucks. So open box item. Probably like $20 I bet. 20 bucks. It's a pretty... Fair assessment. So that's what I got in this Amazon Custom Return Electronics Mystery Box. I, it was pretty good stuff. I mean, a lot of name brand Samsung, Apple, Microsoft, Dell, uh, Steel Series, Turtle Beach. That was good stuff in here. I'm impressed. This is good stuff. So uh, a PS5 controller. I finally got a, my first PS5 item. Finally got my first one in like a liquidation powder mystery box. So I'm impressed. So hopefully this company turns the website back on because if they do, I'll buy some more of these boxes, keep trying them out just to make sure this wasn't like a one-time fluke thing. Because if it's not, this is an easy money maker. Easy money maker. So I'm happy with this. This was good stuff. This was a lot of fun. I saw stuff in this I usually don't see in my liquidation pass but this is this is also like a custom made kind of like a custom made mystery box that there are companies out there who buy like truckloads of liquidation pallets and then they actually create like these custom mystery boxes at different price points the more you pay the better stuff that you get not all companies that sell mystery boxes like this are going to be this good a lot of the companies out there you'll get junk but this is one one company that I found that is actually good stuff, but the website no longer works. It's under maintenance. So this was really good. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.